Hi there, welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dutton. It's great to have you with us for the weekly overview for the week commencing the 21st of October 2019. So go along and have a look at October's outline for information on what we are working with. Scary that October is literally nine days away from being finished and we head into November. So keep your eyes open for the November overview coming soon. This week, as we start off the week, our first hexagram is hexagram 45 called Amassing. And this is like the massive generation and arrival of crowds. You can see from the hexagram structure that we have a lake on top of Earth. So it's this gathering together of external joyous expression with the support of the Earth beneath it. This hexagram talks about crowds, right? And how we build crowds and crowd-like support to what we're trying to do. So this week, our key theme and what we're being asked to pay attention to is all about gathering massive support. For example, in your business, this might be related to organizing a big event where you need a crowd to come and support what you're trying to do. This might be your audience if you are a public speaker. This might be your social platforms, your network that you are reaching out to, or a big group of people that you're trying to connect with as part of growing your business. In your personal life, this could be amassing support, amassing help. Think of global online petition where everyone steps up to support a cause. That is what we're thinking about. We're thinking about amassing as an energy. Now, like with a big crowd, think about going to a concert. One of the things that's really important about a crowd of people is it can get quite unruly quite quickly. So this idea of amassing is also about this crowd control, getting the crowd engaged, getting the group to help you to get engaged with what you're trying to do, and then making sure the crowd doesn't go crazy because you just need a couple of people to be pushed and suddenly you have a stampede. And this is the idea of amassing, of really also being conscious of how precarious if it goes too overboard or becomes too overwhelming what could happen in a large crowd. So we have two changing lines for this week so quite a bit of movement and they're both quite challenging changing lines things for us to work with. So the first changing line that kicks off in the week talks about wanting to be part of a group perhaps this is a networking group perhaps this is a group of friends or a group of associates that you want to get into or you want to leverage or you want to be part of or you want to engage with and this group is quite clicky right they've formed already they have a clear goal they've been at it for a while and you might feel in this week that this group is close to you and it being extremely frustrated almost in a way of how do i crack this one how do i get in what's going to be the way that i can unlock this crowd of people that i need Particularly in business, this might be a network or a group of people just trying to wrestle with how do I get in here? And the trick here is that the group is closed off. So what you've got to do is you have got to find a person who's influential, who's closer to the heart of the group, okay, so has some clout, and to engage directly with that person. And even though you might feel a little bit humiliated maybe that you weren't able to get into this group on your own power, just the sheer force of who you are and what you stand for, what your organization is about, never fear. Just accept the slight feeling of, hmm, and make that connection with the person in the middle of the circle. And what that does is it gets you in, right? So that is what we have to do as we start off the week. The second changing line in the sixth position talks about really wanting to connect with someone in particular and just being misunderstood. So what you're trying to do and the value that you create is just not landing. It's not coming through clearly with this group, this company, this person, individual that you're really wanting to build a bridge and build a connection with. And what the I Ching is saying is be willing to show this person that you are very upset. So the I Ching Chandy line talks about sobs and lamentations, all right? Show how you feel. If you are emotional, if you're upset about this opportunity not clicking in or this person not really getting you, 
is show how you feel about it. Because this changing line in showing our emotion and getting upset, suddenly the other person looks at the situation with a new perspective and said, oh, I had no idea this what it meant to you. And there's a breakthrough that allows that connection to happen. So we were being called out of our comfort zone this week on two fronts. Number one, not trying to get into the group on the force of our own power, but actually recognizing that it's through the individual close to the group that we activate and get into this network. And number two, that we have to show how we feel if we don't have the connection that we are looking for that's going to help us unlock the week. So two interesting changing lines for us. The outcome or the second hexagram, the relating hexagram for this focus for the week is hexagram 33, retreat which we have had before. And this is that part of this process of this amassing and the connections and the networks, part of the things that we are being asked to pay attention to is where do we have to withdraw from something, okay? This is not running away with our tail between our legs. This is about recognizing a situation that's not right for us right now. And instead of losing all our friends in battle, trying to hammer against the enemy on the open battlefield, no, just accept when it's time to withdraw, bring your troops off the field and into the cave, be in the cave and just take some time out. So you might find in this week, one of the things that you are being asked to pay attention to is self-care. Where do you need to take the time out? Where do you need to withdraw, regenerate, recoup, build up your strengths so you're ready for what's to come in the week that follows? And so really getting to grips with that. And then on a business front, this might be a particular project, relationship, or something that comes out of this amassing learning that we have this week that says, I actually need to withdraw from the situation. This is not good for me. And so we have two energies. It's amassing, getting the crowd, activating and engaging a crowd, and second of all, recognizing somehow in this process that retreat on some level is necessary and withdrawing accordingly. So an interesting week. Good luck with your crowd. May they let you in so that you can share your magic and look for that person who's going to help you. Be open, share how you feel and withdraw from things that are not good for you this week. That is what we have to pay attention to. Best wishes for the week. See you on Facebook, see you on Instagram for our daily stories. And of course, subscribe, share, tell your friends. If there's something about this that's meaningful and you've got someone who's going through a tough time, share because it'll bring some light into their life and in their business. Thank you so much and see you soon.